Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. I bet this is really going to be a treat. This is a Great Divide Brewing. This is their Espresso Oaked Age Yeti. Stout aged on oak chips with coffee added. Mm. And this one has a bottled on date of January 3rd, 2014. And it's 9.5% ABV. And what I've read and heard about this beer, it tends to be a little boozy when it's fresh like this. A lot like... Uh, Goose Island's uh, Bourbon County Stout. So uh, this would be a prime example for a beer that you could sell her. But since Nate took the time to buy this beer and, and pay to ship it to me, I'm going to go ahead and review this one uh, uh, without selling it because it's really not fair for, for me to, to get these beers from these guys uh, and then stick them back in the fridge for a year or two or three. I mean, uh, uh, they want to see me review these beers kind of fresh. So, uh, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So let's get on with this one. I uh, thought I had reviewed this one before, but evidently I reviewed a different version uh, than the Espresso uh, uh, Yeti. I may have done the Chocolate Yeti or something, but uh, I don't see where I reviewed this one. So we're going to do it right now. All right, guys, let's go over the uh, food products for this beer. The, the cheeses are Buttery Brie, Gouda, Havarti, Swiss. And since it is a stout, it goes well with your chocolate dishes. And uh, they say digestive, so uh, you can have this. I mean, a lot of people say they, they have this for breakfast. I don't know if I'd want to have, unless I wasn't working that day, I have it on a weekend for a breakfast. I don't know if I'd want a, a nine and a half percenter for breakfast. I'd be kind of uh, be kind of buzzed the rest of the day if I had this, had this for breakfast. So uh, the meat for this is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. And also on the uh, the commercial description, they give some suggested food pairings. So let me read you that. Espresso Oak Gate Yeti Imperial Stout is a new addition to the Yeti clan. I don't know how true that is. I think they've been doing this one for a while now. A generous infusion of Denver's own Pablo's Espresso adds a yet another layer of complexity to this beer. Combining with the vanilla, oak character, intense roasty maltiness, and bold hop profile to create a whole new breed of mythical creature. Now, if it's a, a hop forward uh, stout, you probably wouldn't want to sell it. So, it's official. You can now have Yeti for breakfast. That's what it says in the commercial description here. And they have suggested food pairings breakfast burritos, eggs, Benedict, hash browns, cheesecake, and cream brulee. So, that's what they suggest. So, uh, would not argue with that. Uh, all that sounds very tasty to me. All right, guys, uh, they have this funky foil on there, so I'm going to try to get this off without getting into the foil into the beer. Give it all pushed down so none of it flakes off when I'm pouring it. This is a Bomber 22 ounce. Thanks Nate, I appreciate it brother. All the great beers that you sent in that big box, uh, it is appreciated sir. Thank you sir. Let's get down the center on this and what do you think? Oh, it's like mother oil going into the glass. The head is a deep chocolate head. About two fingers of head on that pour. Doesn't that look good? It looks like it's got ice cream or yogurt uh, floating in the top of it. Really tight bubbles. There are a few bigger ones, but most of them are really tight bubbles on that one. Over into the light, there is none. It is pitch black. It is dark as night. Great Divide makes some really good stuff. So let's get a nose on it. Ah, roasted malt, coffee. Maybe a hint of some uh, baker's chocolate in there. Wow. 
That's got an awesome smell. There may even be some dark fruit mixed in there with it too. It does have a nice hot profile in there too. Hopefully it's a nice balanced beer. Getting just a hint of the alcohol, not much. But I kind of expected that with a beer uh, of this caliber, uh, this fresh. So, uh, well, let's do the let's do the taste here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Nate. Thank you, sir. It is appreciated. Roasted malt. Coffee, espresso coffee in there. Big time coffee. Chocolate. Caramel, toffee, raisins, dates, plum, figs. Got a lot going on in this beer. Very delicious. May pair well with a cigar, but I have one of my subs say, you never fire up a cigar when you say you're going to have a cigar. Guys, uh, I apologize for that. Uh, cigars tend to corrupt the palate a little bit, so I usually end up sipping on most of this and, and, and getting an idea of what it is and let it warm up before I do the, the cigar. But... Like I told y'all several months ago, that I was going to try to do some cigar review this year, and hopefully we'll get to that stage, but I haven't got quite accustomed to, uh, or feeling bold enough to actually come out and, and, and do the cigar reviews, since I'm, I can still consider myself a rookie. I've not been smoking cigars a year yet, so uh, still consider myself a novice in that aspect. And, but the beers, I mean, I've been drinking beers for over 30 years, so I think I got that down pat. Wow, wonderful aroma on there. Just a hint of the alcohol, not a, not off-putting whatsoever. Wow, what a wonderful aroma on this beer. I'm a coffee fan. I like coffee. I, I usually have two great big cups in the morning. Don't do a lot of espresso coffee. Uh, usually, uh, I'll tell you right up, straight up, uh, we, we get several different blends of Dunkin' Donuts coffee. and I used to drink my coffee with the cream and sugar. And you know, I basically made it blonde looking. But now that we went to the Dunkin' Donuts, I drink it straight up black. Because it's, it's, it's sweet enough for me. And they make some awful, awful good uh, coffee flavors. Uh, so, delightfully delicious. Look at the lacing it's leaving on the glass. I mean, it's awesome tasting beer. This is, uh, like I said yesterday, uh, hopefully we'll get another uh, 10 beer. Right now, this is definitely an A beer. So let's let it warm up. Spread out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let the other half try the other half of this big 22-ounce bomber, and we'll come back and do the final chug. See where it ends up. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Look at the lacing that's left on it all the way down. This beer is awesome. And I'm not surprised. I mean, Great Divide. The Yeti Series beers are very, very tasty beers, guys. If you can get the uh, Yeti beers in your area, uh, like I said, I don't think any of the Yeti beers are bad. This is the Espresso Oak Age Yeti at 9.5%. Alcohol is very well hidden. There is a hint of it, but nothing what I was expecting uh, for a beer this fresh. Wow, the aromas, the chocolate, and the coffee, the roasted malt, vanilla. Well, the only way this could be better would be a barrel, a bourbon barrel aged version of this. So, final chug. wind is howling today. It was snowing when we got up this morning and the call for it to be 70 degrees tomorrow. What's up with that? Man, in Virginia, if you don't like the weather, stick around for a couple hours. It'll change. So. Delicious beer. Awesome beer. Nate, thanks again, brother, for sending me the beers you sent. 
this one is definitely a winner guys if you can pick uh, one of their beers up the Yeti beers especially this one I mean this one is awesome I was gonna say as much as I hate to but I don't hate to I'm gonna give this a 10 this is definitely I was a borderline between a 9 and a 10 but I can't think of anything other than being bourbon barrel aged to make this beer better for the style of beer which is an uh, imperial stout with the oak chips it's delicious I mean it, it is delicious just a hint of the alcohol but nothing off-putting in this beer so uh, and, and like I said in the description if you wanted to have this with a with a breakfast uh, a burrito or, or, or something like that uh, I could, I could see that happening, especially on the weekend if you didn't have to go to work and, and function after you drank one of these, but delicious, guys. It's a 10 for me. It's it's an awesome beer. Got the date on the bottle. Uh, got the alcohol, uh, ABV on the bottle. It doesn't have the IBUs on the bottle, but it's right here uh, on, on the uh, on the uh, review sites here. I didn't go to Great Divide's website to see exactly whether it was a 60 or an 80. To me, it tastes more like a 60 than an 80. I'm not getting, there is a hot, a nice hot profile in it, but it's not bitter to the extent of an 80. I may be wrong, though. That's just my opinion. Well, delicious beer. Delicious beer, guys. All right, let's go see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. And Beer Advocate says 95 World Class, which is basically when you have a 10 beer, that's basically where they end up being around 95 and now have it in the world class. Very rarely you're going to get 100 uh, from Beer Advocate. So that's just the way it is. That's the world we live in. So going over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 100 overall. Could not agree more. And 98 in the style. I don't know what that means. Maybe there are some guys that, that say it don't, doesn't fit the style quite right. I can't imagine why. But it is what it is. I'm sticking with my grade. It is a 10 beer, so if you can get the Great Divide beers in your area and you can get this uh, version of the uh, Espresso Oak Age Yeti, give it, give it a try. I mean, pick it up and give it a try, especially if you're into the Stouts, the Imperial Stouts. This is a very good representation of that beer, of that style. So, I loved it. I did love it. All right, guys, that's all for this, and we're going to wrap this up. If you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it, didn't like it. I did like it. I love it. I mean, when I first got into doing beer uh, reviews, I had some sub me beers, and a lot of them were pretty pretty decent beers, pretty good beers, and some of them were uh, not so good beers, I mean, but I enjoyed reviewing those nonetheless. I mean, and of course, uh, I don't hold that against the guy sending it to me. I'm appreciative of anything that anybody wants to send me, so if you've got some ideas or some beers in your area, uh, that's not distributed widely or something I have not reviewed before and you'd like to see me review it I mean send it on to me if you need my address uh, just shoot me an email or or put a comment somewhere uh, I'll give you the address and while I'm on that two black openers left here guys last two going once going twice if you want a opener got two black ones uh, gotta get rid of these two black ones before I order the next batch and I am going to probably order another batch so uh, let me know if you need one. Got all the sizes of the t-shirts. That's it. Wrap it up. Hit that like button. Rate, comment, subscribe if you hadn't. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Can we get three tens in a row? Ah, we'll see. Join me then.